Hello and welcome. General Witold Urbanescuis is the legend of the Polish Air Force. He was the second best Polish fighter pilot in World War II with 17 confirmed kills in the European theatre. He is the only Pole to have shot down aircraft of the Imperial Japanese Air Force. 13 of his victories were scored during the Battle of Britain flying with the Polish Kosciuszko Squadron, mostly in his Hawker Hurricane Mark I. Before he became a member of this famous squadron, Witold Urbanowskwitz joined a British unit for training. Prior to this, he had been an instructor in the Polish Air Force and then squadron commander there. He was posted to number 145 squadron at RAF Tangmere in August 1940. That unit moved to Scotland after sustaining heavy losses. During this short period, Urbanowskwitz had shot down two German aircraft, an ME109 and a Junkers 88. He was only in Scotland for seven days before being posted back to RAF Northolt near London, where he took up a post as a flight commander. The unit still had training unit status, which is very frustrating for these experienced Polish pilots. Lieutenant Ludwig Paskiewicz, famous in subordination on the 30th of August, convinced British authorities that there was no sense to keep them training as they were very keen and they were ready for action. Ludwig was officially reprimanded and unofficially congratulated. His Polish squadron was declared operational next day. Not many know that of the 1822 pilots fighting for life itself in the Battle of Britain, there were 141 Poles, 29 of whom were killed. On the 6th of September, pilots fought one of the hardest combats, claiming seven enemy shot down at the cost of three Hurricanes. After that mission, Urbanowicz became squadron leading CO. The 30th September was a successful day for Witold Urbanowicz. He took part in five patrols and shot down four enemy planes. In June 1941, he went to the US as air attaché in the Polish Embassy in Washington. In September 1943, Urbanowicz joined the USAAF 14th Air Force on attachment in China and the following month joined the Flying Tigers of the legendary Claire Lee Chenault. He took part in several missions flying a P-40 Warhawk. On the 11th of December, he fought against six Japanese Nakajima Ki-44 Tojo fighters and claimed he shot down two. According to his reports, he also shot down other airplanes over China and destroyed some on the ground, but those victories were not officially confirmed. He was later awarded the US Air Medal and a Chinese Flying Cross. During the war, none of Witold Urbanovitz's planes were hit by a single enemy bullet, and that is amazing. In 1946, he returned to Poland, but was arrested four times by the secret police as a suspected spy. You can imagine his outrage. After his release, he fled to the USA. He lived in New York City, working for American Airlines, Eastern Airlines, and Republic Aviation before retiring in 1973. In 1989, communism fell in Poland in 1991, and again in 1995, Witold returned to Poland when he was made a general in recognition of his service to his country. He died in New York on the 17th of August 1996. What a remarkable man. Thank you for watching.